the WFL Update. I am your host, Kyle Walsh, and here are the WFL's top stories this week. The WFL schedule doesn't waste any time with a fantastic matchup with the Battle of the Heavyweights, Minnesota and Delaware, kicking off the Friday night slate. Minnesota and Delaware, both top five teams according to WAFLfootball.com's preseason power rankings, sport a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. Minnesota quarterback A.J. Balek and running back Amon Price hope to form a balanced attack that Delaware is also trying to acquire into their offense. Destruction running back Ayers Campbell blew it up with 135 yards rushing in his preseason matchup win over Edmonton. Last season, these two teams played in one of the most memorable games in which the Spartans completed a Hail Mary as time expired to win the game. Week 1, in many ways, is revenge week for a lot of the teams, and the Boston Maulers, who had the second-best regular season record, are no different. The Maulers will travel to Queen City in Week 1 in a rematch of the Eastern Conference wildcard that was ranked the top memory of 2011 by WFL fans when Queen City pulled off the stunner and knocked the Maulers out of the playoffs last year. Boston, coming off a 42-17 preseason win over Osaka, Aww. will take their new-look offense and their same powerful defense into Buffalo and try to shut down the relentless Cochers offense led by Tony Henderson. If these two teams are anything like their 2011 Bills, this game should be exciting until the final play. The Cincinnati Sentinels, fresh off the of Paul Young's return, will be back at home to begin their regular season in a Western Conference Finals rematch against the Edmonton Chill and their new quarterback, former Boston Mahler, Bubba Jones. The Sentinels' powerful passing attack will go up against Edmonton's corner, Maurice Wheatley, who shut down Delaware star receiver JoJo Benton and held him to zero catches in the preseason. Edmonton will try and get their 2011 All-Star running back, Chris Knoll, going who had a rocky preseason with only 46 yards and no touchdowns. Bubba Jones threw to Casey Rogers and, <clears throat> and Sammy Parker for a combined 270 yards rushing, or receiving yards, so Jones loves going deep. This should be one to watch. In Week 1's Game of the Week, the Louisville Wolfpack will raise their championship banner from 2011 and play host to the Las Vegas Dabblers on opening night, Thursday, January 12th. Louisville sports much the same team that won the championship, but must face an improved Diablo squad led by extraordinary efforts in the secondary that features Yushin Akami and Nick Nitro. Louisville will more than likely try and run the ball on Vegas' defense with the talents of Duke Overstreet, which in the preseason had 184 yards and one touchdown. Vegas' quarterback, Michael O'Connor, will get his first chance to do something Ivan Inferno could not do in 2011, beat the Wolfpack. Other matchups this week include Osaka and Los Angeles, and Los Angeles' key divisional matchup and the battle of the expansion teams in the Pacific. This is the only divisional matchup in Week 1. Two teams that completely transformed this offseason are hoping brighter days are ahead of them <clears throat> as the Chicago Ghosts travel to face the Philadelphia Iron. The Baltimore Battle Wings will get their home slate started, hosting wide receiver Cookie Johnson and expansion team Cleveland Stallions. Football gets kicked off in the WFL's St. Louis market as two struggling new ownership groups attempt to set sail on a 1-0 start when the Surge face the Hornets. As part of the WFL media, here are our predictions for this week's games. Vegas and Louisville? I say Louisville's going to win. I agree. Louisville. Okay, for Sterling at St. Louis, I believe St. Louis is going to win. I'm going to have to say Sterling. I think that uh, he's going to have a rocky start, but I just think that he's going to be able to pull it out at the end. Okay. Minnesota at Delaware? Uh, Minnesota Minnesota's going to win. Uh, it's a tough one for me, but I'm going to have to say Minnesota as well. Boston at Queen City? I'm going to say Queen City. Why? Just because... Just because? I think Boston, because I think they have the defense that, I just think their defense can do it. Well, I think they did it, Queen City did it last year, and they can do it again this year. We'll see, won't we? We will. Osaka at Los Angeles. What are your thoughts? It's a tough one for me, but um, I'm actually going to go with Los Angeles. I think that Osaka has a good shot. They're actually, based on their preseason, they're going to do, I heard that they're going to do a complete 180. And uh, either it's going to work or it's not. But personally, I don't think it's going to work. But they have, they, have, they have a good shot. They do. All right, so you're going to say Los Angeles then? I'm saying Los Angeles. I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to, I'm going to say Osaka. Just because uh, they have too much talent on that team. And I think it was kind of a learning curve in the preseason. I, I think they're finally going to start clicking in the regular season. Okay, Chicago at Philadelphia. What are you thinking? I'm going with Chicago on this one. I'm going to go with Philadelphia. I just think um, 
you know, they're under new ownership, and I think they could just pull it out in week one and beat Chicago. I just have this feeling. All right. Uh, Cleveland at Baltimore. I'm sorry, Cleveland, but uh, you just maybe towards the end of the year you'll have time to build your team up, and they're going to be doing great, but I'm just going to have to go with Baltimore. I, I agree. Baltimore all the way. <clears throat> Cleveland's just not. Sorry, Cleveland. Baltimore it is. Edmonton, Cincinnati. No brainer, Cincinnati. Edmonton just during the off season they lost too many of their key players. Agree, agree. And I just I don't I don't see it happening. Yeah, after the slaughter they went through during the off season, I just and with Paul Young, unless Paul Young gets hurt. If Paul Young gets hurt, I think they're down for the count. But you never know. It's it's gonna be a good game, but I just think that uh If he goes out in this game, I'm I feel <laughs> bad. I, I'm gonna go nuts. I just he better nobody better get injured in this game. Oh. Well. We'll find yeah, out. And we'll see. Either way, it's going to be a good week of games. and uh, We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Until next time, for the WFL Update, I am your host, Kyle Walsh. Check back to WFL on YouTube for game-by-game -game highlights and analysis. Watch every game live on the WFL Network at www.justintv slash WFL football. And visit the website daily for new articles, podcasts, and more at www.wflfootball.com. Can't watch the games? Follow the scores, point by point, big play by big play, on the WFL Twitter at www.twitter.com slash WFL Football.